That's a good question. Nowadays, a lot of young men uh, that go to the gym are already into uh, using all kinds of performing enhancing drugs, peptides, anabolic steroids. The, the question was, um, can, can you uh, guess or um, give an estimate if men that are using PEDs, if they are going to get onto TRT later in their lives? Is that almost a certain thing? Uh, or does it depend on the number of cycles they do, on the compounds they use? Uh, a lot of them do uh, post-cycle therapy. And uh, the, does that give a guarantee that you always will get back your testosterone levels or will they get onto TRT, uh, TRT uh, eventually? That's a good question. Um, there's definitely not like a clear yes or no to that. Um, absolutely not. So there, there's a lot to go through there. So the first question is like, if, if you do if you do cycles, are you inevitably signing up to doing TRT for life? No, um, definitely not. That's that's not a hard and fast yes. This is absolutely what's going to happen. You are going to you know compromise or ruin your production for life. Um, no, that, that's not a thing. But you are rolling the dice with that. And then there are factors that will influence uh, the outcomes of that equation. So from what I see, like how young you are, like doing it before the age of 25, um, that has a higher chance of messing up your natural recovery, just from what I've seen. Um, the literature may say otherwise, but in reality, um, doing cycles under the age of 25 seems to have a higher rate of messing up your natural production long term than, you know, starting in your 30s, for example. But that could be confounded with other factors, which is my next point, which is that th there's there's something going on with the younger generation of guys like under the age of 30 who are having these low hormone issues that are to do with, um, you know, messing their bodies up with, with, with doing anabolic steroids when they're young and it isn't from being obese. Like there's a cohort of young guys who are coming through who just have low hormone values, even though they're doing everything right. So. I think there's a lot of guys who are coming into doing cycles when they're like 19, 20, 21, 22, and their hormones are already shot. They just maybe don't know it. Maybe that's what's driving them to wanting to do a cycle is they're getting subpar results in the gym because they've already got terrible hormone values to begin with. So if you've already got potentially a compromised uh, foundation of your hormones, which you may not know, you know, if you're 20, 21, 22, jumping on like a 500 test cycle for 12 weeks, you may not have you know, testosterone values from the last couple of years to actually see that you were low to begin with. So, you know, then you do a PCT and you beat yourself up because your levels are low. Maybe your levels suck to begin with. Um, so that's another factor as well is what are we dealing with in terms of the foundation? So I see everything across the board. I see guys who've done, you know, a cycle a year, every year for a decade and their hormone values are fucked. Um, I've seen guys who do one side. And I don't mean to fear monger with this, but, the, the five lowest testosterone values I have ever seen have all been from Psalms and they've all been from guys who are under the age of 25 who have all run a PCT. Um, and they're coming back with like a total testosterone that's like almost undetectably low. So it, it, in the reference where we're using, using like 200 to 700 as the reference range, I'm talking like a total testosterone of like three or four. Um, in the Australian units that we use from five to 25, these guys are coming in with a zero at the front, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Um, and this is crazy because these guys will have been going on that low since they finished their cycle and since they came to see me, that could be one year, that could be two years, that could be five years. So that's, th there's a lot of variables to unpack in terms of if someone's using PEDs, are they going to need TRT in the future? I would say that if you're using PEDs, you're probably going to be in the market for TRT in the future because you're wanting to maintain the natural level of what you're cycling with down the track like that to me makes a lot of sense as well but you're definitely increasing your chances of needing exogenous hormone support the more the more you cycle the higher the doses you use i would argue the more exotic compounds you use because we don't we just don't have the research but yeah the younger you are the more you do it and the higher doses you use the more likely you are going to need exogenous hormone support when you get older absolutely but would you have needed it anyway? Hard to say. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that from SARMs, that low from SARMs. Couldn't have guessed. And S23 has been the one that's messed people up from what I've seen. So that's just the trend I've noticed. Okay. Thanks for sharing.